Hey everyone, Steve from Open Bomb. If you've been following the October 2020 release, you've probably heard me talk a lot about catalogs in uh, uh, in uh, Open Bomb for Onshape. We now we've introduced them. They're automatic. They're very cool. Let me show you what I think is just one of the coolest features, and it's how to get the next available part number and get it back into Onshape. If you're like me, you know you model some stuff in Onshape, and you just you know you if you're if you're uh, you take a little extra time, you rename your part, and you probably don't dive down into every part and give it its part number. And maybe sometimes I don't know it. Maybe I don't even keep it in on shape. Maybe uh, maybe I keep it in uh, something more organized like Open Bomb. So, so anyway, so I, so I do that. Maybe if I'm if I'm diligent, you know, maybe there's a couple of parts that I've uh, that I've spent the time to get the part number from a buddy or something. And I've got the right part number in there, but many of the parts I don't. So I click over here in for the open bomb flyout. Open bomb flyout comes. I I clicked on create already. I got the bill of material. Uh, it's pretty nice. I got some part numbers, and for those items in on shape that did not have a part number defined, on shape uh, is going to pick up the part name and put it into part number. Oh, you know that's great to help me build a bomb. It's probably not what I want. Okay, so we know from our previous videos that we now have this thing called a catalog called on shape items it's uh it's where we where we we write information about each individual item and we store it for use and reuse and it's connected to this catalog so the activity that i want to perform is getting the next available part number and here's where how how that is defined um, i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and use the oh on shape uh item information button here and i'm going to click this guy right here it's going to open the catalog so this is, well, I'm now in my Onshape items catalog, and what I've done ahead of time is I visited this part number setup button, and I went through these things, and I pre-configured this uh, prefix and, and, and part number range and other things. So keep in mind that this catalog, Onshape items, I've, I've done that ahead of time. Okay, so I'm now sitting in my bomb. I've got three or four things that need to get a part number. Let's try this. I'm going to select that item, click item information, and go down to part number and click edit. I'm going to click the little swooshy here, and um, Open Bomb is going to go grab the next available part number in that sequence, put it right here, save it, update this item in the catalog and in the bomb. It's not it's not yet in in on shape, so we're going to go through and do a few of these. Let's go do grab this guy. We're going to say give me the next number based on our sequence. Okay, I get 105. I I define my sequences to skip five, and let's let's just do one more right now, just so we can kind of get the hang of this. One last time, I come down to part number, I click edit, and I click the swishy, I get 110. Okay, great. So uh, just to be thorough, I'm going to go ahead and do, the, do my last one here. I know everyone is getting the hang of it. Next part number, I get 115. Great. Okay, now I have got name where name should be. I've got part number um, is defined for each one, each one of my parts. Now I need to send this back to, uh, back to Onshape. It's as simple as hamburger menu, send properties back to Onshape. And do, boom, done. So now let's go take a look at our adjuster knob. Um, before it was blank, now it's got the right part number in it. Uh, the same thing we did gasket before it was blank, and now we've got the right part number here. Keep in mind that those part numbers were generated based on the sequencing that we defined right here in our catalog. So I love that feature. I am a, uh, I, I can be lazy when it comes to filling out that information in, uh, in Onshape. One last thing before I, before I leave this, I want to point out that the part number for the bill of material up here came from the part number for the tab. That's the assembly in Onshape. So sometimes I do like to fill that in so I get the right part number up at the top level. Then I use that, uh, use that automatic part number generator to fill in the rest. Hope you found it useful. Support at openbomb.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks.